There are different positions to help a patient recover from an anaphylactic reaction, depending on their condition. When the patient is using their auto-injector, they should either lie flat or be sat down. If the symptoms affecting the breathing, the patient may be more comfortable in either a semi-recumbent position, resting on someone else, or on pillows. They will find it easier to breathe in this position. If the patient is feeling cold, dizzy, weak, or their skin is clammy or sweaty, they may have low blood pressure. So you should lay them down with their legs raised on a chair or something similar, which allows the blood to return to the head. It is important not to stand up suddenly after using the auto-injector, as a sudden change in body position may lower the blood pressure drastically, which could make the condition worse. If you're caring for somebody, when lying them down, it's a good idea to turn their head to one side to prevent them breathing in vomit should they suddenly be sick. If the patient looks like they may vomit, turn them onto their side in preparation. And if anyone becomes unconscious, you should always place them in a recovery position. However, if they stop breathing, you should begin CPR. To put a patient into recovery position, make sure they're on their back and take the hand nearest you and place it 90 degrees from the body with the elbow bent. Lean across them and pull the other hand across the body by the thumb with your fingers interlocked and hold the hand against their face on the side that's nearest to you. With your other hand, grip their leg farthest away from you and lift it so the foot is flat on the floor. Move your hand on the far side of the knee and pull them towards you using the leg as a lever and keeping the head supported with your other hand. Remove your hand from their hand and open their airway by tilting their head back. Their hand will remain by their face to support it. Then tidy up their leg so it's not reducing circulation, which will also support them better. Check that they're breathing, check that the airway is open and continually closely monitor their breathing and vital signs until the EMS arrive. If one is available, you can cover them with a blanket to keep them warm. Remember, in all cases of anaphylaxis, you must call the EMS even if the patient feels better.